everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot to the opening screen. <laughs> um, Mr. F's playing tricks already. We've only just begun. Um, the scene now. He usually goes to the opening scene and there he says to me. Now we're back. Excellent. <laughs> now I'm back. Hi, everybody. and Welcome along to our Sunday afternoon uh, crafting session junk journaling session we are making we're altering a little golden book a little golden book christmas uh, edition and um, lots of people are following along and they've all got different christmas or holiday little golden books and we're just going through it signature by signature page by page um, adding some nice things to it so we've split it into two signatures or it splits itself into two signatures and we are working on the first one at the moment so that's the opening page of my book little christmas elf and this is what we did yesterday and i've seen some pictures on facebook we have a facebook group that runs alongside this and it's called miss paints a lot's junk journal group and it's the same suspects people that you see on on live chat here you'll see on the group uh, and, and others, there are others there. And, you know, what a talented group of people we have, really, to be honest. A lot of the people we have are absolute newbies, which is why I try and keep it um, newbie friendly, if you like. Um, a lot of them aren't. And they've been, since I did this yesterday, people have been posting pictures on the Facebook group and I'm blown away. Honestly, they're amazing, they're beautiful. Um, make mine look quite shabby by comparison but all I'm trying to do is give you the basics and then you can go off and run with it and uh, see where you get to so that was our little stocking got a little tag in the top um, and it says coming over the front it says to and from which is quite nice little hook to hang it up with and this is the back of that it's a journaling page with some ruffles some bling and uh <laughs> <laughs> a nice stamp here, which is actually hiding a stamp that didn't work, but you know, nobody ever needs to know that. Um, and then that takes us onto this page. Uh, this is the page that we're doing today, but I've decided to put some journaling on the front because I don't want always the, the first page, this, this page, to be the, the fancy one, if you like. So I've put some journaling, I've stuck that down from the kit that we're using from Kay and May. Um, I've stuck that down on this page and we'll work on this one. So let's just carry on through. Then we'll have... It just needs folding open, I think. Then we'll have the centre spread, which I'm going to do something just a bit different with the centre spread, actually. Um, and then this is the other side of the page we're doing today. And I've put the journaling on the back of that. And then this is what we did yesterday. And I have seen some fabulous versions of this. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> really good. Um, I do like the idea of ra rounding those corners. And I never thought of that. Um, and, and I like that. have um, gone ahead and sewn round my uh, journaling card. <laughs> as you knew I would. Um, and then on the back of that, we've got some journaling space. So today we are doing this page. So I'll take it out and put those at an angle so I know where it goes back in. Right then, so I've got journaling on the front and on this side we're going to make a cracker. I have put a template for this up on the Miss Painterlots Junk Journal group. <coughs> it's, it's just a cracker shape. So it's nothing fancy. Uh, so if you can draw cracker shape, just draw it. Um, and it needs to come in, I don't know, quarter of an inch top and bottom like that. And as you can see, it's going to be what we call in our group a tummy tuck. What's known other places as a belly band. So that's how we're going to use our cracker. Now, I've also gone ahead and cut one out that's just a wee bit smaller than that because we're going to be putting trim etc around this cracker and ultimately we want to have journaling cards going in and out and if we've got rough bits on there the journaling cards will get caught on them uh, which is a pet peeve of mine so I've cut one that's just a little bit smaller 
So when we finish decorating it, we can stick that on the back and then the journaling cards will go in and out um, effortlessly, hopefully. Uh, because this is just going to be there, we're going to have some space around it. Up to you how you decorate it. You could use one of the pages from uh, the kit that we're using. Oops. Um, this one, for example, might look quite nice as a background with that on top. Um, or you could do as I'm about to do, which is, um, I actually asked Mr. F if he'd make me some stencils, because obviously my stamping is just, it's not up to snuff. So he's made me these stencils um, and I'm going to use uh, Cosmic Shimmer. You can use anything. Use what stencils you've got. Use uh, st stickers if you've got stickers. Anything. What, whatever. Whatever you've got. I just want to do that because it's hard to see where the crease is. So I've got quite a big sort of uh, gap all the way around mine. And I've got this snowflake here. This can be dimensional if you want it to be. But I want it to dry fairly quickly. So I'm not going to make it too thick. Just rub it around there like that. I've got a bit excess there. Um, I'm just going to put this down here. And maybe another snowflake at the bottom. Might be better if I put that on there, actually. Just pop that at the bottom there. I don't care if they sort of line up or anything. I'm not really after that. These are a bit too liney up for me, to be honest. But, oh no. Let's hope the cracker covers that, shall we? I don't think I'm helping matters greatly. Let's just hope the cracker gets that bit. I'm not doing too well with all my stamping and stuff, am I? <coughs> Sorry? Sorry? Don't start coughing again. <laughs> You'll have them worried. Oh, no. No, I'm all right today. I was all right by the end of the live, actually. I don't know what on earth it was. So I've got a little bauble. I think you call them ornaments in America. We have baubles. And what shall I put in the middle? A, little, a smaller snowflake. Right, there we are. That's fine, apart from that. Faux pas. Oh, and I've smudged that now. Well done, me. Um, could, could you just drop that in some water, please? Thank you. Right, so, you know, altogether that wasn't brilliant. <laughs> but never mind. I'm just going to run my heat gun over that. Sorry about the noise. But some of it ended up rather thicker than I wanted it to. So it's going to dry it off. I've got some journaling on the back, I think. It'll be fun. It's, it's pretty dry, to be honest. So I expect better than this from you. <laughs> I really do. This is pretty ropey. But we'll be all right on the night. I think that's pretty dry. Pretty dry. Right, okay. So let's move ahead with the cracker then. Look at that. It's going to cover most of that. Be all right. Who's going to notice that when they're looking at the beauty of our cracker? Right, so I have been delving through my ribbons and stuff. And honestly, I've got loads. I, t I told you I bought them last year after Christmas and New Year when they just had 
big baskets full of ribbons, uh, Christmas ribbons, not high quality stuff, but, you know, Christmas ribbons that they were just, they just wanted to get rid of. And I thought, hmm, Christmas will come round again. Let's have a go. Let's buy some of those. So this is uh, one of the ones. It's actually wired, so I guess it's been for decorating um, parcel, you know, gifts and stuff. Um, but it's nice and it's Christmassy. So I thought that that might go on on the end there. So let's just cut that off. I want it to wrap around a, a bit, you know, um, so it's when we put the this on, it's covered. All right. So I think I'll probably, thank you, wrap around on its own, but I'm just going to put a little bit of double-sided on it. Just along there with a little bit to go to uh, roll over onto the back. And the same with the bottom. Roll call, roll call. Let's have a roll call. Carol. Hello, Carol. Carol Vaughan. Yeah. Hello, Carol. Jean. Hello, Jean. Hilda. Hi, Hilda. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Terry. Oh, Maureen, your stocking, gorgeous. Terry. Hello, Terry. Helen. Hello, Helen. Roz. Hi, Roz. Amanda Roberts. Hello, Amanda. Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Denise. Hello, Bernice. Mike S. Hello, Mike S. Um, G. Oh, no, I said Jean. Deborah. Hiya, Deborah. Jen. Hiya, Jen. Susan Peavey. Hello, Susan. Um, Sue, I think. Sue, is it? Uh, do, 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 Mr. F. <laughs> Hello, Mr. F. Uh, Amanda Roberts, I said that. <laughs> Tony Vince. Hello, Tony. She says she's a video behind, but just wanted to make my first comment. Oh, well, hello. Loving your vids. Oh, thank you. Right. Uh, Flo. Hello, Flo. Honestly, so many of you have been doing doing this and putting mine to shame, completely to shame. <laughs> I'm shamed. I'm shamed by it. Um, but I like to think that I'm giving you basically... Uh, I'm going to stick that. I don't know why I'm stuck that down. That's just madness. Um, I like to think I'm giving you the sort of base <laughs> idea and that you can then all go ahead and run with it, which is obviously what you're doing, and you're doing a smashing job. Well done. So we've got look, no Lynn Whitman today. Uh, I haven't seen Lynn. No. Maybe she'll join later if she wants to, of course. Maybe she saw quite enough yesterday. Kerry Ritz probably thought better of it and gone to bed. Kerry, yeah. Uh, she's probably exhausted from yesterday. Right, so that's that's then stuck down. There's, there's still a little bit of stickiness on that uh, double-sided there because this is a mesh. So I'm just going to rub it to get rid of the stickiness and it'll be fine. Right, so it's it's actually beginning to look like a cracker even now even at this early stage um now then round the middle i've got this thicker it's like a sort of burlap type thing can you see it um and it's got these snowflakes on these ones are slightly heavier there um i quite like that bit there it's also got sort of snow type thing but i don't think they are enough for what i want so I think I'm going to use that part there um, and I'll keep this, of course, because it will come in useful for something. It's just in the land of crackers. I think that's probably the best. Leslie Hi, Leslie. Thanks for joining. Um, but I don't think it's quite wide enough. I want something sort of, you know, at the top and the bottom. So I think I will use, I've got this spool of four different four different things um put gold there i think should I put merry christmas that would 
look quite nice, wouldn't it? Mm. You can't really see it on on screen. I've got this silver stuff that's well. So I guess it's supposed to be Father Christmas, but they've actually somehow managed to chop his head off. So we'll leave that. I've got these candy cane. Yeah, that might be the solution to my problem. You see how cheap this stuff is? It's just you know plastic, but it will do our job nicely. Hello, shady. So I want that just kind of under the shoulders of the cracker there, and I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to put uh, some double-sided on again. Just, as, as I say, just sort of under the shoulders. I call them shoulders, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. And I want a bit at the top and the bottom. over to the other side I've been really using up my brain power guys to try and come up with Christmas I Christmas eversions Christmas eversions of our old staples you know pockets and uh, tuck spots and belly band tummy tucks and you know so I really have been using the old noggin and I don't even know if you like what I've come up with, but it's the best I can do, folks. Really is the best I can do. So let's just pop that onto there. Like that. So basically this cracker, it's just a rectangle that's got nicks in it. So, you, you know, and all I've done is I've used my pinking shears, but if you've got a tear ruler or anything like that, that would do the job every bit as well, I would say. And put the one on at the bottom. And cut the length. So I want these going the same direction, or do I? No, crackers would go, they'd go the other direction, wouldn't they? Yeah, so I'm putting this one, what would be sort of upside down. Because when you look at crackers, oh, come on. That was just unnecessary, wasn't it? Okay, I'll let you off. Yeah, when you look at crackers, the middle bit is... And then all the decoration goes either side of that. So I'm just going to have to nip this little bit off here. Otherwise it will annoy me. I don't think that's entirely straight, but um, it's near enough for a cracker. So now we want this. And that's the bit that I'm going to use. Well, that's just enough. Um... So I'm going to cut it about there and about there and I'm going to put some double sided at the back. I don't know what's wrong with Shady today, I think she just wants in on the act. Back door's open so he could go out. He's got food in his bowl. He's just... He's just being like that today. Cats have days like that, don't they? Well, they just... I don't know. They don't know what's wrong with themselves. That's it. He's got up on the back of the settee now. He'd be quite happy now, I imagine. I'm just going to put another... Just additional just to help it stick I think it goes all I think I've got enough to make it go all the way around we'll see we'll see what we shall see and I'm going to put a bit down here so it's 
it's quite firm that ribbon and I think if I don't encourage it in the right direction it might go start to look like a little bit baggy sort of thing and I don't want a baggy cracker oh get off right that's me in double sided finish for a while I think press that down So I hope everyone is well and happy and following along and enjoying it. That's the main thing, isn't it? Um, I'm going to start putting, um, well, st start putting a post. I'm going to put a post up this week for people who want to exchange, swap their, uh, the last little golden book that we did. Right, so that's right there. So I'm just going to fold this over and kind of not pull it, but, you know, encourage it. <laughs> encourage it to go flat. Uh, so keep an eye out on the group for uh, the post that will ask. There we go. How cute is that? It's nice, actually. I like it. Right. I'm just going to have to stick a little bit, stick this over here just now. I want it. When I come to stick the other one on, it will be useful, but just for the time being, it's going to irritate me. So put that there. Now then, what I'm going to use now is this cheap braid that Mr. F got from the charity shop for 50p. And I'm just going to wind it round here. So I want to save enough to make a little bowl and just wind it round I think twice is probably enough. Cut that off. I think this will be all right. I'm just going to pass that under the loops that I've made just to keep it in the place where I want it. So I'm just going to, I've tied it one little knot like that and now I'm just going to put this under the under the loops. I'm very ham-fisted today, I don't know what's going on. cack handed is another way of putting it. It's what we say in this country when you're looking like an idiot. Right, so I'm going to tie a knot there. So there we are. Yep, that's that's looking all right. And put a little bow in it. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be daft. So there, I got there in the end, eh? I'm pulling that quite tightly and I'm also going to put just a little bit of um, glue on it. The other option to that is I do have some little gold bows and I did think about putting them on instead of tying a bow with that. So I don't know really what I think. What do you think, Mr. F? Which do you like? The gold braid or the gold bow? Just for the bow. I'm leaving the braid on. Mm, take it away. I like the bow on. You like the bow on? Okay, so let me tie that again then. So it's not coming off in a hurry. There we are. People have come up with a few ideas for their own. Have they? they could, you could use the shape of a sleigh to make the, the yeah. hand. Yeah. Jen suggested putting an acetate window in the middle of the thing and some candy cane inside. Well, I'm not using up my acetate um, thing yet, Jen, because there's an acetate thing coming. 
Well, I think they were more of going to their own than yours, like. Ah, oh, right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. The ideas when they come to do their well, own. Well, that's brilliant. That's what it's about. I just kind of give you the broad idea. Yeah, I like that myself, actually. I think that's better. So I'm going to uh, fabric-tack that on there. I had these gold bowls already. I hate them to add. Um, and I never quite found a place to use them. Which is not surprising, really. They're not really my sort of thing. I think I bought them for bo doing bow haul, possibly. You see my drying rack for my um, wet wipes? Yeah. Could you pass me one, please? <laughs> oh, dear. It's a good job you can't see my drying rack. Thank you. Right, so that possibly, possibly needs a bit of glue behind here just to encourage it to stay. Leslie says she found a complete box of 100 legal size file folders yesterday at the Goodwill store. Now you're talking, girl. That's brilliant. That is... What a find. Were they expensive, Leslie? Probably not at the Goodwill store. So I'm hoping that's going to stay down. If not, I'll I'll um, glue these two bits down as well. But, you know, let, in the interest of let's crack on this. Um, let's crack her on. Let's crack her on. Seeing as that's what we're doing today. Right then, so I just need enough to tie a knot at this end. I mean, you know, it's quite amazing, really. We just started off with a flat piece of red card. We're doing all right. She says she looks for some Edith Alden, but they're quite hard to find. Yeah, I think they are in the States. But she found an Aesop's Fables book. Oh, yeah. With a similar type print. Oh, lovely font. Yeah, nice. So, oh, you're away. Right, so I'm just going to tie a knot in here. Seeing as I'm not tying a bow, I don't need to go underneath and all that fussiness. There we are. Which it might look better if I did. I'll pass that under, just tighten it up a little bit. Pass that under and put another knot on, in there. There we go, that's fine dandy. Put, stick my bow on. Um, hmm. Here it is. Right, so I'm gonna go straight in with the glue in the center and on each bow part string it just wants to go there I think just hold it for a second or two I think I, I think I probably am gonna to have to stick the other ends of the bow down just to get it to lie nicely. So I might as well just do that now. Otherwise it's going to drive me mad. But yeah, I mean, I'm using gold and red. You know, you can use any colour that you like. I mean, I think it was Jen had used some tartan and that looked really, really nice. Um, and I, I, I love, I think it was Janice as well that did this sort of faux stitching with a white gel pen. Looks brilliant. Really, really does. Looks fabulous. Just stick there, will you? Please. I'm going to do the same to this because it's it's just not sitting right. I 
I'm so sorry, I know it all takes time, but you know, just take time. And I think that's pretty much for for my cracker, that's pretty much it done. Um but you know, do do what I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'm sure you're gonna come up with some brilliant ideas. That's the kind of stuff, stuff enough. Right, so now we've got this. You can see why I want to put a backing on it because it's just all over the place. So I'm just checking that I've got that the right way, which I have. And I'm just going to stick that down. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten already. Honestly, turn me around twice and I'm lost. That's it, so the glue needs to go on this side. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it's a fair amount of fabric there in the back. You might decide you don't really need this. You know, if you made a neater job of it, then you won't need this. Um, I'm just hastening along. I hope you've all found some old Christmas cards or something like that to get images from. Uh, we don't get Christmas cards, so I can't save them, but... Um, you know, sometimes after Christmas is the time to go searching for things like that because everybody reduces their Christmas stock. All right, let's try this then. Particularly when you've made a pact not to spend any money, <laughs> Jen. I don't know what you're talking about. So that's ju it's just inside the other one. Um, and it's just, as I say, just to stop the journaling cards catching on it. That's all. So there we go. So there's our cracker. How cute is he? Well, yeah. Say she always buys tartan Christmas crackers. Who? Roz. Roz. Ah, well, yeah, she would. That's good. There's a bit of tartan theme going on. Yeah. So that is going to go there like that. And I appreciate it's not perfect. Uh, and for me, that's really a bugbear. <laughs> but given the constraints, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to put some double sided on this and some glue. Uh, just in case it falls into the hands of children because they're not quite as gentle with things sometimes as we are. So just a bit along the top, at the back, and the bottom. Come on. The Teflon scissors again. They're, they're here somewhere. <laughs> By here you mean a vague waving of the hand. Yes. They're in that vicinity, I think. Uh -huh. There they are, thank you. So I'm just going to square up this bit up here, which is just a little bit too long. And with these Teflon scissors, it's easy peasy because this double sided doesn't stick to them. So thank you so much for them, Hilda. They're brilliant. Right, I'll whip the backing off. Put some glue on and, you know, how's that? Speeding along today. Right, so let's stick this on something like something like right. I think we're about okay there. And I'm glad that we did the cracker, you know, that bow that way and that the other way, so we've got a sort of looks more crackery. Lovely. So I've made a couple of journaling cards. 
uh, already and sewn round them so you don't have to watch me do that I back them this one I put on to green card because I just thought it made it stand out a bit more uh, this one's just the card itself and I've backed them with coffee stain paper and I'm just gonna hopefully pop them in there and they should fit so there we are lovely so that's that one done yay now then that goes into the book as you know and there's book pages here then this is the other side and I've put journaling on that and I've done I've put the journaling pages on first because once you get all this lot on it's really hard to get a journaling page to lie flat um, so I've, I've put the journaling pages out of the kit out the cane make kit um, on before I've we've got the thick bits on I hope that makes sense right so the next thick bit is going to be a well do you, do you know what a matchbook is you, i'm sure you know what a matchbook is you know you go to uh, hotels or um bars. bars restaurants that sort of hospitality type thing usually and you get a little box of matches um I don't suppose to do it now because nobody smokes, do they? But, um, and you just flip the top of the, the box open and the matches are attached at the bottom. Well, we're going to do a kind of take on that in as much as it's sort of, the top flips off. That's the only thing that's like it. <laughs> that's the only similarity. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> and maybe we'll set fire to it later. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I will right so here are my pieces my component parts of my match book so leave that for a minute so I've got two pieces oh I've got three actually making it up I've got three pieces of green card use any color you like this is just what came in my paper mill direct box so I'm using it up and I think it's quite Christmassy so this is going to go on the back so almost you know there's no point in me giving you the measurement but it almost fills that page there all right there's just a i'd say an eighth of an inch margin all the way around it then i've got another piece of green card that is the same width but about half an inch less tall then i've got another bit that is the same width but it's about an inch, it's about an inch long. And you can see that the top bit fits it, will fit down into there um, with a bit of, and this will be glued on there, kind of, sort of. So that's, the, that's what's going on. This is the front, this is the bit that you'll see. So I thought we'd use a page from the K and May um, design papers that we're using. Now, this is a bit where you can really do your own thing. You know, go to town on it. I'm using the design pages. That's what I've got. But you could stencil it, stamp it, um, put um, modelling paste through stencils so you've got some texture on there. Uh, you could put ribbons on it. Do, do what you want. It'll be fine. It'll look lovely. So basically, the first thing I need to do is get this stuck on here. So is that the right size? No, no, it isn't. But I want it quite nice at the bottom. Because that's a bit you sort of see. And the top, it doesn't really matter so much. So I'm going to stick that on and then I'm going to trim off whatever I've got surplus. Now, I haven't made one of these before. Well, I have, as Leslie will attest to, but um, I haven't done a mock-up of this. <laughs> so, you know, stand by your beds. It might go horribly wrong. But they worked really nicely in Leslie's um, journal, I thought. Um, so I wanted to do some more.
right let's get this glued onto the shorter piece which is this piece so I'm going to start at the bottom and make sure it's right at the bottom I've already trimmed a wee bit off this um, from the kit straighten it up there lovely 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 just put that back back under I thought it was my bone fold it's a bit for me card so make sure that you've got that nice and smooth like that okay yeah, don't that, round the top Nancy corners Nancy fancy Nancy the alarm went off and she went back to sleep Nancy <laughs> <laughs> she hit the snooze button on us <laughs> oh well you missed the entire cracker now you have to go back and watch it my love um right so there we are look so the next thing that we need is that's going to go on there like that but it's going to hold some papers to journal on so that's what we need next the papers to journal on and i'm using coffee stain paper and i've got quite a few i think i've cut up five sheets so i've probably got 10 things and they need to be an eighth to a quarter shorter and less all the way around that's what i'm trying to say that's what i'm trying to say so i just took a piece of coffee stain this is copy paper it's nothing thicker than co uh, copy paper so it's coffee stained copy paper um and let me just see what what i cut that at I cut it at five and an eighth, <laughs> five and an eighth, just to be convenient. So line up your five and an eighth down there, down there, and chop it off. Now this bit would have been waste in days gone by, but now it's a ruffle. <laughs> um, and then the length was uh, seven and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut them off at seven and a quarter. So five and an eighth by seven and a quarter, but yours may vary. So just, you know, a little bit in from the edge, basically, is what I'm saying. So get your back piece. That's the piece that hasn't got the design paper on. And kind of square them up as best you can. It is a junk journal, let me remind you. So they may not square up exactly. And just bring them in like so. Now I'm going to clip mine in that position because I'm going to sew it. I'm sure that blooming embossing powder is growing. I've put them all away. Now I've got another two. It's ridiculous. Um, I think that needs to come over a little bit. It's just a bit too far that side. There we are. So I'm going to sew mine across the top, um, just across the top, gather, catching all the papers and sewing into the, the back. So here we go. Um, so I'll leave that in the center. I'm going to make my stitch slightly longer than normal because it's got a lot of thicknesses to get through. Just reverse for a, a couple of stitches. Oh, I forgot I've got I've got a tie off start and finish on which I didn't want. Okay. 
as I come to the clips just remove them this is for this needle that I've got which is quite blunt this is about the edge of its ability reverse back a little bit okay so let's hope it's done that yeah I mean it's not pretty but it doesn't have to be and it's so nose on but this is going to get glued onto the, the page so in fact I mean I could pretty it up a little bit but there's no point because looks better but it's going to be stuck on so the next thing that we need to do is um, put the front cover on which is this now at this point you can glue it or you can stitch it it's up to you but I'm going to put ribbon over the top anyway um, so I, I'm going to stitch mine because that's what I do um, but if you want to glue it that's equally fine so I'm just going to get those square clip it again and I don't really want to catch the paper this time I just want to catch the the cardboard the card I'm going to move my oh, come on. being silly today I'm going to move my needle over to the right so uh, I'm going to catch the, the card and not the paper Start a little way in and reverse. So move that over a bit more. And reverse, so reverse to the edge. And then all the way forward across there. I didn't ask my machine to go through all of these layers at once. Um, and I like the idea of it looking like it's attached to the back anyway. If you want to attach all of yours together, the paper, the cut, the front and the back, that's fine, do that. But that's not what I was after. Just reverse a little bit and just to tie it off. Right, so let's see what we've got. Let's cut the ends off. Lovely, so this should fold up on that line there. Let's just press that up. On the line of stitching so there we are yeah that presses up yeah that's fine that's lovely and then you see you've got this whole booklet here which as you finish a page maybe you want to tear it out and you can that you'll be able to tear it against that line of stitches which is holding the paper in so you can work through your booklet tearing out as you go or leaving in if, if you want to but that just folds up out of the way so as you can um, use your journal and I'm just going to put along the top just for prettiness sake a bit of uh, ribbon what ribbon shall I use? I've got loads of ribbons. Um, I quite like that silver one. But it's the same as that gold one. There's a lot of holes, you know, it's meshy. I might just use my candy canes again. Just pop that at the top there and fold it over to the back. Just makes it look a bit more Christmassy, doesn't it, really? So... Uh, let me just cut that to the length I want. To there. Put some glue on it. You alright, Mr. Ruff? 
Sammy's just joined us. Hi, Sammy. People saying they learn best by watching. Fair enough. Which is why they like your lives. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, and Mike wants to know, does your sewing machine have a walking foot? Yeah, but not um, a traditional walking foot. It's a faff and it's got a... Which way doesn't it? Upside down. Um, they have a thing called IDT, which I can't remember what it stands for. Intelligence, something or other, probably. And it's got a... Um, Hang on, Mike. I can't multitask here. Got something stuck on there that's blue. It stands for Integrated Dual Transportation. There you go. Not, not. Basically, the feed dogs underneath feed the bottom of the material, and this is like a foot that comes down and it feeds the material, the top layer. Yeah. So that the top and bottom layers stay. In, in sync. sequence, yeah. So when you're quilting with some wadding, for instance, it stays nice and unrunkled. That makes sense. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Right, I think that's okay there. I think so. Might need a bit more glue. Chop that off anyway. <laughs> Oops. Gone through my card. There we go. So is that stuck? No, is it heck on the back? Not stuck to anything. It is weird stuff, this uh, ribbony stuff. It's it's really plasticky and funny. Weird. Cheap is another way of describing it. Right, I think that's probably got got that this time or maybe not. I put some clips in it to encourage it. Um, we'll see. If not, I'll have to use E6000 or something with a bit more clout about it. Right, so that's that, hopefully. So the next thing that happens is, oh, well, the next thing that happens is it gets attached to the to the thing. I can't really... Well, no, it's not actually. That's not the next thing that happens. I'm lying to you. I'm lying. This piece here plays a valuable, vital role. And it catches the top part of your journal. This part. I really need this to stick. It's just not helpful. I think that might be it, actually. That's all it needed, a good talking to. So from, if you put that, place that where it's going to go, there on the bottom, and make a mark on, your, on the front, both sides, then you just want to taper it in ever so slightly um, from the bottom to that mark that you've just made. Like that. Same on this side. Okay. And the other thing that you want to do is um, get your whole punch. I'll, I'll use this one. Um, and you want to make a, mark, a, a punch on each side to enable you to flick the card up out of the bottom. So let's just see where I'm going to put mine. I'm going to put it um, one, two, three, four, five centimeters up from the bottom is where it's going to be. And I'm using centimeters because my board's in centimeters. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's right. It's there. And we have never used this before. So let's hope that it works and equal each side it looks like me your two marks are even are they i don't know i'll check them no that looks like it's at four That's one two three ah thanks 
Where's my rubber? Yeah, five. Five is where I'm going for. That one was four. Thanks, Mr. F. You're welcome. You're good to have around. So I want that at the bottom. I'm going to use my ordinary one inch because I, I can't I can't work that out. I'm not used to using it. So I'm going to put it in with the thing upside down and I'm going to line that line up with a middle nobble and chop it out. <laughs> Same here. Line it up with a middle nobble and chop it out okay so if you've got a fancier cutter or whatever or if you're inking it'll look nice around there or you could take your scissors and just knock the edges off you know the the sharp bits that are there there's plenty of options right so now it's time to put this on but we don't want to stick it down onto this because then we'll never get that off so all we want to stick this to is the back okay so I am going to put some um, ribbon or trim, 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 trim. I've got loads of trim because of my ruffler foot. <laughs> so I could use that trim. That's quite nice. It's going to go on the bottom like that. Doesn't stand out really, does it, against Santa? Needs something stronger got this but this might be a bit thick I don't know quite like that yeah I think I'll use that I think I will so let's get some um, tape of some sort let me have a drink of my coffee while I'm mulling this over I don't really want to use double sided because it's going to stick to everything until it's stuck. So something like sellotape or something would be fabulous. Let's see what I have in my drawer. Um, no, hang on. You can use double sided. Yeah, I'll use double sided. I just won't take the other side off it. Come on. Get a grip. Right, so double sided. Teflon scissors, what can go wrong? <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't said that now. So I'm going to put one piece of double sided really quite near the top with excess at the sides because it needs to stick over onto the back. And another piece quite near the bottom with excess on the sides. Like so. This is the plan, guys. This is the plan. I've done it before, worked perfectly. So, shouldn't be anything to worry about. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. No, 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 no. I want to stick it down first. So, get that, get your little, little piece, even with the bottom. Turn it over and stick it down so that should be fine I reckon so you can put your once it's stuck to the journal you can put your fingers in there it's easier once it's stuck down put your fingers in there and that just comes out doesn't seem to want to come out too easily. I think it will. I think it's just... Yeah, that, that's fine. I think it's just um, been a nuisance. Yeah, I'm sure that... I'm pretty sure that's all right. Uh, what I didn't do was... Well, I can't really. I can't stick that down to anything because I haven't got any space to stick it down to. But I, I'm pretty sure that's what I did the last time. And I'm pretty sure it worked. So... Let's just stick another piece along the middle. Now we've got it stuck down. 
Uh, this is really for the ruffle more than anything, but it will lend uh, strength to this bit at the bottom. And then we can take all our double sided off, stick this into there, and pops your uncle. Oh, uh, that'll be the day, eh? I've got a little Teflon board here. I wonder if I use that. I've been embossing on it. I've embossed the board more successfully than anything else. Do you think the double-sided would come off that, Mr. No, what? This, te this Teflon thing. Uh, mm, mm, no. no. Okay. That was my idea, but it's... It's possible. I wouldn't like to try it. Okay, I'm trying it. So I'm sticking that onto my onto the bottom bit. Let's hope that's something like yeah, that's not bad at all. And over the edges, as far as the double sided goes, there. So let's just chop those off. It wasn't so much of a worry the being double sided on the back as I thought it was gonna be. See it's good. I, I, I make all the all the mistakes. I make all the mistakes so you guys don't have to. I'm sticking with that. Sounds good to me. So there we are. That's nice. Uh, we've got our little ruffle at the bottom. Take the excess strings off. So all we need to do now is stick that into our book. It looks a little bit plain to me, I must be honest. It needs a little bit of um, glitter or something. So I'm going to stick it in and then I'm going to glitterize it. So that fits in there. Oh, that's nice. It's so nice. Right, so it needs all the help it can get, obviously, because there's quite a bit of pressure when you're pulling it up. So it's going to be double-sided. It's going to be fabric tacked It's going to have every glue known to man on it. Um, because I can see that there's going to be a fair bit of pressure on it when you come to open it up. on the bottom or oh, everywhere everywhere you can see glue <laughs> glue like your life depended on it so the next page that we're going to do not today but on, in the next uh, live is the center spread and it's i've got it planned out it sounds brilliant in my head <laughs> I might have a little practice first but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work um, and it it just sounds good to me and it's going to be something really different but it will involve acetate Jen um, and all sorts of other things the problem is it can be a bit echoey in there at times where? in your head oh in my head <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. And Amanda wants to know, do you have a ruffle tutorial for us beginners? It's a tool that you buy. It's a foot that, that you buy that I use. Um, actually, what happened was I was chatting to Jen online and she said Mike had bought a ruffler foot for his machine. Oh, I'm just broken off. And... I thought, you know what, that's a really good idea. So I mentioned it to Mr. F and he said, you want to buy a ruffler foot? And I said, yes. And he said, well, what's wrong with the one you've already got? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I had one. So off he went upstairs into the nether recesses of um, my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I call grotto. it? Grotto. Yeah, my grotto. And uh, down he came with the ruffler foot. Which is this. Um, and yeah, when we looked it up online, it cost 50 quid. So I'm glad I had one already. Um, and it, it does it. It just goes so many stitches, then 
makes a ruffle. So we need to just mix a ruffle. Um, and it's a great little thing. You can make ruffles without it, and I have been doing so. Um, it's possibly easier to use paper, actually. I'll use this one to show you. Just cut these nobbles off. You, you literally just fold it, pleat it really, and then choose a space where you want the next one and pleat it, and where you want the next one. And so you go on. And it, it's easier to show you on paper, but you can do exactly the same thing with uh, fabric. And I'd um, recommend that you use a fairly thin fabric, a sort of patchwork um, type thickness. Um, Liberty do a beautiful fabric called Lawn and it's really thin, it's beautiful and that makes, you know, that would be perfect for this. But that's it and then you take your sewing machine and you just sew down, down the middle and you've got yourself a ruffle. Looks really nice with coffee stained paper but you can do it with any paper at all or indeed any fabric. Um, it's just, when you're doing it with fabric you need to get your sewing machine and stop the needle right there on the end then make another pleat and go on to there so it's a little bit tedious but you know we tend to not be making really long ruffles so um, that's a ruffle that's the size of that right let's take this off then and see where we're at let's see if it's going to stick down getting through the double sided today Thank you, Nancy, for um, providing me more. Oh, we're zing along today, aren't we? Wizzy, wizzy. It's probably not going to work, and then I'm going to have to get my thinking cap on again. No, it will work. I've done it before, like I say, and it worked. Right, I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac on there, give it every chance of, of sticking. And actually, if you put the... Somebody gave me this tip. I th it might have been Nathania. I can't remember who it was, though. Uh, if you put glue on top of your double-sided, it just gives you a second to reassess where you put it down and change it if necessary which with a double sided you don't get once it's stuck down it's stuck Right, let's give this a try then. Oh boy, I've got ribbons and everything. Oh, come on. So it's fairly close to all the edges really. Lovely. I think that's all right. I think that's okay. I think it's okay. And uh, Nancy's saying, do you have any wider double tape? Yes, you got me some, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, Nancy, you got me some. Uh, so, yes, I do have some. I don't know why I'm working with quarter of an inch stuff. <laughs> just have to be on the desk. I'm just useless. Heaven's sake. Um, right, I'm going to put the lid on that. I'm hoping that this is stuck. So I'm going to get uh, this little friendly persuader to stick that down. And hopefully that has stuck. Time will tell. So that's it. Just pops into there. 
and then when you want to use it it just pops out of there I would say if I had to say anything thinner card than this is probably a good idea not only did I use relatively thick card but I used 160 gram paper so this is actually quite thick and doesn't have too much bendability about it so you know you've really got to sort of persuade it to go in and persuade it to come out as you, as you can see so I think thinner a thinner card than that would be fine but overall I think it's okay that ribbon on the top still isn't stuck it's not being friendly today is it that ribbon just stick I'm not asking too much of you just stick and you for me six thousand night later that will yeah won't argue with it. that that might be it, it might just have been a bit dry, you know, when I was using it. Right then, so I could, if I wanted to, put some bling along along here, you know, like I did yesterday. Um, I had it in my hand a second ago, here we go. Some of this bling along here. That would add a little jingle to his jangle. Um, but I quite like this and the reason I quite like this is I was talking to Lynn yesterday and she was reminding me about the ugly sweater uh, situation you know that um, we have it in this country too so of ugly sweater day at offices and what have you where people turn up in those things that your granny and your auntie used to make for you that A never fitted and B were just so uncool it was untrue um, but you had to wear them because, you know, usually on Christmas Day, because they'd made them for you, they'd knitted them themselves. And uh, you were they were coming to dinner and you were expected to wear them no matter what. Um, and that kind of has re it's become re-energized, that whole um, ugly sweater thing. And people have uh, ugly sweater days in, you know, offices and shops and whatever. Um, and Lynn was reminding me of that. Um, and we were debating whether you could make a, a journal or a folio, like the Edith folio that I'm doing, but using, but make it ugly sweater, if you like. And when I saw this fabric that Mr. F came downstairs with this morning, I really don't know where he got it from. It reminded me of ugly sweater. And so I'm going to leave that because that's what that looks like. But that's the fabric. And isn't it really ugly sweater, don't you think? Uh, and this is the other fabric that he found and this one so they, they speak to me of ruffles for an ugly sweater folio so watch out in my spare time <laughs> yeah I've got loads of that uh, I'm gonna make um, an ugly sweater folio at least one Lynn suggested I bulk make them there you go so that's kind of all that I have to show you today my recommendation, as I say, it would be, oh, it's going to glitter Santi up a bit, wasn't it? Is to make this in, thin, in slightly thinner card because it, it's, uh, it works, but you've got to kind of coerce it into working, which is not good. And that cracker I really like. It's a cracker, actually. But I'm, I'm going to just glitz uh, Father Christmas up a little bit. Let's see what I've got in the world of glitter. I pulled a cracker about 20 years ago. <laughs> Thank you. That's so cute. I've got green. I don't think there's much green on there. I've got that green. I've got this pack that... Oh no, there's some red there, look. Oh, that looks a bit... Do you think that would work? It looks a bit umpty. Umpty? Yeah. <laughs> I've got clear look. Clear might be the best way. Clear might be the way to go. Looks fine to me. Yeah. I've got gold. Gold glitter. Yeah, I like the idea of that. What's this one? Pearl effect. Mm. I've got silver. I don't actually know if these work. They came from the pound shop. And they're like this, and then it says not suitable for children. I mean, surely... 
they're designed for children but obviously not right i'll put that back i've got clear and i've got gold out not sure where i'm going to put it it's just he looks a bit I'm going to put some clear on his beard and on the ball on the end of his um, hat. You don't need to do this. You'll have thought of something much better. Oh, I was trying to unscrew that, but it comes out of the thing. Let's have a little go, a little practice first. Oh, yeah, it works. It's drawn me a lovely red glittery heart. Oh, that works as well. Excellent. Not much in there. No, I've got a new one. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glitter on there. I don't even know if you can see this on the camera. But it's looking better. It's looking not quite so. I don't know if I want it in his beard. It might be just a step too far. But cross there is nice. Uh, and I'll put some around his cuffs. Like that. Um, on this cuff. I don't want to go super glitter on it, but it's just looking a bit on the dull side. Um... I might go around his belt as well, and that'll probably do me, I think. Can you see this on the camera, Mr. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, good. So I don't know where I got this glue from, this glitter glue. I'm suspecting Mr. F came home with it one day from somewhere, one of his outlets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I bought it. No, oh, it's Ducrafts. Oh well, whatever. Right, so that's that. So that's going to dry. But I think it's quite nice. It's lifted it a little. I don't think you can see it sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly, but it is. Right, so the next thing that has to happen is that goes back into the book. I want this to dry first though, but I'll just give you a little little look at what it's going to look like. So it's going to go there. And that's going to go there. So, so far, I'll leave that flat, but I don't want anything on it. So far, this is what we've got. We've got our opening page. Got our stocking with the tags in, and some of you have done beautiful, beautiful versions of this. Um, no denying it. Then on the other side, we've got some journaling space with some nice ruffles and bling, and Santa with his uh, reindeer. Uh, a page of journaling from the kit from Kane May. A cracker. Cracker looks nice, doesn't it, when you just come across it in the book? Yeah, that looks nice. Um, and then we've got our centre spread, which is yet to be done. Glittered my thumb. Um, and then we've got this, the little um, match, matchbook journal in there. And then on the other side of that, we've got some journaling. Then as you carry on, we've got Santa's jacket. I should have really put some glitter on that. What was I thinking? I might go back and do that. Um, and on the back of that, some journaling, and that's the back page of the first signature. So really, the only thing that we have got left to do now is the centre spread. And I know what we're going to put in it, which is quite remarkable for me. Um, I think that's stuck all right, that. Yeah, fine. Um, that's a nice, it's a good, useful journal, that, so I'm pleased about that. Um... But as I say, please take my advice and use some uh, card that's not as thick uh, as, as what I use because it's just, uh, it's too difficult to get it in and out. So there you go. I hope you have possibly maybe learned something today. I doubt it. Um, but I hope I've given you some ideas 
that that's the main thing and you can take them and do as you wish with them um alter them or not use them at all what whatever you know um and next Ooh. it looks like you this looks like me yeah Yeah, it does, yeah. That looks like you. I agree. That looks like Bob. <laughs> which is short for cat. <laughs> huh? Anyway, uh, next Saturday, when you join me again for the uh, another live, we'll be doing the centre spread. Exciting times, folks. Exciting times. So I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've enjoyed the weekend. Um... I will be back through the week with our other project, which we've got on the go, which is the Edith Holden folder, uh, which is a really nice project, and I'm enjoying doing that. So I'll try and get the front of that finished and maybe even get into the inside of it. I, I like him much better now. He's got glitter on. <laughs> I'm here with that. But I need to go back to this page now that hasn't got any glitter on and glitter him up because he's looking, he looks quite sad compared to this one now. So, see you through the week. Um, what, what, what? Just people saying nice things. Looks like Justin. Well, it does. If I look like that, that looks like Justin with his... She put whiny baby. Whiny baby. <laughs> oh, you're all so nice. Thank you so much. Mike says wonderful as always. Thank oh, you. thanks, Mike. That's lovely. Um, I, I can tell you no more. If you need to know more, go over to the Miss Paint a Lot's uh, junk journal group. Um, we're, we'd be very happy to have you. We're a lovely lot. And everybody, or, well, at least somebody will have a, an answer to a question if you ask it. Uh, we're all willing to help. So see you there. See you here. See you through the week. And if you've got any suggestions for any lives or anything or anything they need to know. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got a suggestion for a live, bear in mind I'm pretty clogged at the minute because I'm doing this, I'm doing Edith, and I really want to take Lynn up on her ugly sweater challenge. Um, so, you know, I'm a bit clogged at the minute, but come the new year, or anything for Mr F to do. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he did some cracking ones on using Word to manipulate images. Really good. Yeah, but anything... You know, cleaning your sewing machine. Okay. Doing the tension on your sewing machine. Oh, there's an offer now, isn't it? Anything you like. Do we want Mr. F to do sorting your tensions out? Could be quite tense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I've kept you long enough. Bye for now and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.